right guys, what is going on? I'm out here with Luna, doing my daily grounding. Somebody recently asked me a pretty good question. They wanted to know, is it better to ground myself barefoot on dirt or on grass? And the two have a different reaction. I've seen some people say that you shouldn't walk barefoot on the grass. And I've seen some people say you shouldn't walk barefoot on the earth. Some people prefer grass, some people prefer dirt. I like both. I do both almost daily. If I had to pick one or the other, I'm not 100% sure what I would pick. The dirt, if you're sensitive to energy, you'll be able to, to pick up the differences because they do have a different feel, both physically and energetically. Just try both. I would suggest not picking one over the other. Try them both. But I prefer, the, if I could pick one way of grounding myself, I would pick water, a body of water that has sandy, kind of a sandy consistency where I can put my feet about two to three inches down underneath the dirt and sink my feet in. There's a part in the Essene Gospel of Peace, Volume 1, where Jesus tells his followers who are seeking healing to go and plant your feet in the wet dirt. I believe that's in the Essene Gospel of Peace, Book 1. I may have read a passage in that book and kind of created my own twist on it and God had done that put my feet down in the, to, into the wet earth like that, but I believe there's a part in the Essene Gospel of Peace Book 1 where Jesus mentions that. To go seek the angel of water by planting your feet deep in the earth, the wet earth. And that has a profound effect. So I would go down to streams or even lakes and do that. That's my preferred method, but I don't have access to that all the time. And I also really enjoy grounding myself at beaches. Have you ever gone to a beach and you leave feeling so much better? Well, a beach is primarily where most people do their mo the most grounding in their life. Most people do not walk barefoot on the earth. So you wonder why when you leave the beach you feel good? Well, you've grounded yourself and you've breathed the air that is supercharged from the salt water, you name it. It has a very profound healing effect. On top of that, Looking at a body of water that's as far as the eye can see has a profound effect on the subconscious mind. Hearing the birds and, I mean, come on. We're designed to be out in nature. Stop being stupid. I don't mean to be judgmental, but I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of living in a world where most people spend mo more time, most people will spend most of their time indoors. Again, you spend one third of your life indoors sleeping, folks. Think about that. And another large majority of your time before you go to sleep, you're spending indoors watching TV and relaxing from your day's work. There's This equation is wrong. The equation is wrong. Now I've gone out of my way to try to be as patient as possible about fixing the equation because I know everyone's moving at their own pace, but it gets to a point where, hey, give me your head, switch, let's go. There's no more time for dicking around with certain things. You have got to spend time outside. I've gone over it in the past how constant time outside will slowly move little gears on the assemblage point. It won't completely shift it, but it will rearrange it to some extent. And we know that the assemblage point is the key to perceptual fluidity. Perceptual fluidity is your key to interacting with the electromagnetic spectrum on a deeper level. It's called getting your third eye back online, fool. Excuse me, I don't mean to say shit like that. It just comes out sometimes. I'm just sick of living in this new world order prison system. Earth is a prison system. And they've got the 5G antenna arrays and all the electromagnetic setups so they could, there's so many crazy things that they can do with us in such a small amount of time, ladies and gentlemen. Wake up, we need to wake up. We need to prove our worth to ourselves and to the world. This is an embarrassment, and we have all this health statistics and abysmal crime statistics to prove that this world is a hell. It's a purgatory of sorts. It's a launch pad that we're supposed to use alchemically to change bad to good. But we're too busy fucking engaging with this world, dicking around with it, learning to enjoy it, learning to enjoy the devil's playground. It's insane. I call this world the land of the bottom feeder. 
What do bottom feeders do? They stay on the bottom and they eat the shit, the debris on the bottom. Well, we eat shit and we're currently on the bottom of the launch pad. Let's jump off. Let's stop eating the scraps. Let's stop feeding on the bottom garbage. I hope you guys are engaging in my flu shield. I hope you're doing the 100 days of Shazandra program. I hope you're actually using my channel to your benefit because that's what it's designed for. If this channel isn't used as a tool, then I've, I've failed miserably. So use it to your benefit. I'm not saying that I'm perfect, but I do know that some of these messages can help you. So, so grounding, I do both, dirt and grass. Luna does both as well. And Luna also loves grounding herself at the beach. And Luna loves grounding herself in streams and lakes. Swimming in natural bodies of water that are super supercharged with crystal energy, lakes, streams, you name it, that's also very beneficial. But just, just start grounding yourself. Once you do that, you'll plug back in and the pieces will start putting themselves into place for you. Peace out. I wanted to personally thank you for watching my videos and contributing to the growth of my channel. I could not do this without you, and your interest in my content is truly what motivates me and fuels my passion for making these videos and spreading my message. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wanted to remind you that this channel is a free educational tool that is listener supported, and if you would like to donate to my channel and donate to my cause, help make my life a little bit easier and help keep the lights on around here, you can do so by checking out the links in the description box below. There's a handful of not only ways to donate to my channel, but I also have links to different websites and different videos of mine, as well as my Amazon store, where you can check out a handful, a plethora of different health-related products that I use and recommend. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you so much for your continued interest in my message and until next time, peace be with you all.